Pardon my moving around. I'm just trying to make sure that I get the uh, get good footage of the gun while it's on my body. The grip is the hardest thing to hide. This is a commander size 1911. I don't think I can get any better than this using this holster. There might be other holsters, but I think any other holster that does better than this is going to be something like deep concealment, sort of like a Filster Enigma. And that one's kind of convoluted. Uh, yes, it does a good job, but it is recommended that if you don't have the patience necessary to kind of tune that thing to your body, that it probably is not for you. Yes, I do have it canted slightly. And also, this set of pants doesn't feel, I mean, it feels better depending on the type of pants I wear. I have some pants that have elastic in the waistband that um, are um, cargo pants. Uh, these, I believe, are dockers. Um, I have other styles of dockers that fit better in this. Um, I do tend to kind of, so, so I have a little belly, so I weigh one, it varies between 175 to 185. Um, I am 5'7". Um, I am not, you know, I don't consider 5'7 short. I don't consider it tall either. It's, it's medium build, uh, especially in that, that weight category. But I do have a little belly. Um, and initially I was having problems concealing this gun uh, with this holster as well as the, so this is a Tentacore holster. It is a Curtum 3. Uh, prior to that, I had a Tentacore Velo 4. The Velo 4 is not for me. Um, it has an integrated wedge. And the integrated wedge, I know you're, you know, the way it's designed, you're supposed to wear it in the crease of your leg. Um, and that's how I'm wearing this, but even so, it wasn't fitting me well. So that's not a one-size-fit-all gun uh, uh, holster. Um, and I, you know, my thinking is that most holsters aren't really one-size-fit-all. You're gonna you're gonna have to do something to kind of. That's why they're. You see a lot of the good ones. They offer adjustable cant, um, adjustable ride height. And this one does both, whereas the Velo 4 did not. Um, you had no cant uh, control, and you had limited, very limited ride height um, adjustability with that particular holster. So I have that going for me. Um, I did have to add a wedge to this to get it to, to kind of get the the grip. So so I'm not sure, you know, though you guys watching wedges are made to kind of better hide grips um, if you don't have an, if you don't have a wedge a lot of times the gun sticks out like this so what's what's making the gun kind of conform more to my body is that there's a wedge and let me pull it out here I pause it so we've moved areas here and just so you know this is cleared you can see the lint yes this is a carry gun you just saw me carrying it um, so that's where the land is from. There's no way to get around that. I'm not going to sit here and be trying to clean this gun 24-7. Uh, I clean it every other day. And so it's due to be clean, but I didn't clean it before this shoot. So there you go. So it's clear. Um, here's my wedge. So this is just a piece of yoga bar. I was being impatient. I felt that this... People aren't typically gonna typically gonna see the wedge. Uh, typically, when you carry concealed, the gun is concealed, and if you're if you're carrying in the waistband, no one's going to see the majority of the holster. So that means I didn't have to make that wedge pretty, um, but it, it it was a spare piece of yoga bar laying around, and I just kind of cut it real quick. Um, there's some Velcro behind it. It just needs to be able to stay in place. 
uh, the hot spot for this particular uh, holster is right at the tip. So this negates the hot spot. It lessens it. It's still there. Uh, but I gave it just enough wedge to hide that that grip. And that grip is is pretty, I mean, it's, it's a full-size grip on a shorter barreled gun. So the standard, well, the full-size 1911 is five inch. This is four and a quarter, but it has the same grip as the five inch gun. So even though it's thin, it's it's wide, it's harder to, to hide. And what, what I did was I canned it. And you can see where it's canned right here. So here's here's the, the up and down axis. And you can adjust this. So I could have went further, but that would have meant I would have been having to fight with this uh, camming bar. I do have the large camming bar in place. Uh, so between the camming bar, between the canting that I've done, and between the wedge, um, it's offering a lot more concealability than the Velo 4. Um, so these two screws, they control, um, and you can see there I got a mash down pretty good. Uh, uh, retention of the handgun while inside the holster. Um, I'm comfortable with this setup. Um, I've got it crunched down pretty good. The holster does come with, I think, two other sets of these. And when you need more, you can order from uh, Tentacore. So it also has a place for belt loops. And, it, you know, I'm not the only one reviewing this, this holster. But um, I will say if you're, if you're kind of... I wasted money. Well, my sister, I mean, my daughter brought me the... Uh, the Velo 4 for Christmas. So I didn't spend my money. Someone spent money on it. And that one was, I believe, right at, a, they're about the same price between the two. Um, probably between 100, 110 and 120, 120 bucks. Um, this one was, uh, I think, right at 120. So I'm gonna save you some time here and recommend, if you're looking at both of those holsters, I would recommend the Curtom over the Velo 4, uh, simply because uh, this one offers far more adjustability. Again, it's got good cant adjustability and good ride height adjustability. Um, it offers the camming bar. Um, it comes with three different camming bars. The Velo 4 has an integrated camming bar um, and an integrated wedge, whereas with this one, you can... It's flat on the back, so um, you can cater a wedge or you can buy pillows for this as well. Uh, but this is sufficing for me so far. I might try out the pillows. There's some places where you can get pillows. And the cool thing about pillows is, is they conform to your body a little bit better. Um, I don't think they last quite as long as yoga bars, though. But that's from what I've read and not from my I've experienced. Another, so a, a con regarding this holster is if you look here this is actually a restriction so this holster is built for a commander size 1911 you might be able to get away with putting something smaller like a 3.5 inch 1911 in this holster without issue but it will not fit a five inch gun uh not the way it is um of course with any kydex you can alter it by either melting uh or softening it with a heat gun or um maybe just dremel it so if you really need to use this with a a five inch gun or something that's bigger than 4.25 inch then you can get away with cutting this little lip here uh with the velo 4 it doesn't have the lip and i my velo 4 is 4.25 uh, inches uh but i've fit um, I fit five inch 1911s in that holster without issue. Uh, both of these will also take a uh, 2011s as well or non 2011 double stack guns. So there is a difference between the two. Uh, like Rock Island Armory, they're not really they don't they're not really selling 2011s. Uh, there's a difference between 2011s. You can research that. 
but they're para patterned 1911s. So they don't have modular grips. And I just said that I wouldn't get into it. And I just told you the, the main difference between the two. Um, but this will fit both Rock Island Army uh, para patterned uh, 1911s. And uh, it's marketed as being able to, to fit um, 2011s as well. Uh, we'll see about that because I am, I've am i got my eye on two different uh, 2011s. And I will be reviewing those in a couple of months, uh, which, whichever one I get. Uh, right now, it's just one. What I don't get this year, I'll pick up next year. Uh, the clips work good. A lot of people hate these because they can't quickly get the holster off. The cool thing about these is if you're rolling around, uh, this, this holster is not going to come off. They have little mechanisms here that secure the belt to the clip. Or the clip to the belt uh, so these aren't going to come off accidentally which means that you're going to have to be purposeful when pulling this off it just requires you to take take your fingers and pull both of these up while pulling the holster up it's it's it can be done quickly you just have to get used to it um i'm trying to think of what else that is really it